Church. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Naomi and I've been attending Nambour Christian Church for about eight months after moving here from interstate. We've been so welcome, loved and supported and really appreciate being a part of this church family. Thanks so much for having me here to share a bit of my testimony today. It's always a pleasure to tell others about how good God is. To start, I'm blessed with strong Christian parents. I was raised in a Christian home and we were part of a pretty awesome Pentecostal church. During my teenage years, I was processing some things and instead of leaning into my church or my family for help, I was leaning on my peers at school and I ended up walking away from my church and my family and pretty much anything to do with God. My young adult years were full of parties and things that only gave temporary fulfillment. I met a man and got married and we had two beautiful children. When my baby girl was 14 months old, she had some pretty severe burns and it was during that time I tried to, started to cry out to God and asked him to heal her. And I was praying like never before and I knew that my parents were praying for her and that their church was praying for her. And it's an absolute miracle that you can look at her today and not see any burns on her body. It was a really terrible thing, but it was also the start of my walk back to Christ. So I started reading my Bible a little and praying, and I made some Christian connections. And by the time our son was a baby, I had rededicated my life to God and was going to church part-time. And even though what came next was a challenge, I wouldn't have been able to cope through all of that without God by my side. And there were many times people would tell me that something was impossible, but through prayer and faith, all things are possible. And God is faithful, and he was such a good provider for me and my children during that time. I did have a moment there where I created a storm within a storm, but I learned once again about God's faithfulness. He makes our messes into something beautiful, and his love never wavers, even when we aren't where he wants us to be. As one of my favorite verses says, he causes all things to work together for good. And I learned that I can't do anything in my own strength, but it's a blessing to be building on my relationship with Jesus. And when I hand things over to him in prayer, the Holy Spirit gives me strength. And in my weakness, he shows me his strength. So I guess it's just over three years for me now being back in church. And there's a lot of change that I notice after being away for 15 years. But the good thing is that God never changes and there's no place his mercy and grace won't find you. And after everything that I've been through, I have such a different understanding of who God is. And he's been my constant when everything around me was changing. He's helped me to overcome the worst of hurts. He's literally saved my life on more than one occasion. He's helped me to overcome shame and tune out the lying voice of the devil and tune into his truth. He's filled the spaces that the things of the world left empty. And he sheltered me and he loves me and gives me grace like something I've never known. Right now, I'm just a busy mama, trying my best to be a good mum and raise my kids with godly principles, values and knowledge. I am finding contentment in this season of being mum and learning to listen to and be obedient to God's direction. I'm glad to be learning and growing in Christ. And to finish, I just want to say if you're a praying parent, God bless you and don't ever stop praying for your kids. I would encourage you if you aren't a Christian, if you feel like something is missing or if you're searching for one thing that is missing, give God a go. What have you got to lose? Find a church home and pray about it and I guarantee God will lead you to the right one and just talk to him. It doesn't have to be fancy words. He's always listening. Thank you. Hey church family, my name is Nathaniel, also known as Nat. I've been attending Nambour Christian Church for about seven years. So, and I started when I was in grade eight at high school. My story actually starts when I was younger. I was brought up in a Christian family, but as I grew up during primary school, I started to sort of sway away from God and become sort of like the other kids in a sense. I got to about nine years old and I started to see that everything wasn't right. Like, at our high school, it was either you're in the cool group or the uncool group. And if you're in the uncool group, usually you would get bullied by the, the cool group. Um, and you know, everyone at that age wants to be in the cool group. So everyone tried their hardest to get in this group, uh, including myself. When I did make it into the group, I started to realize what they were doing was really wrong. And I just had this <clears throat> gut feeling that, you know, 
as humans, we shouldn't be bullying other humans, you know? So I sort of, I, t I sort of thought over that a lot and how wrong it actually is. So we, uh, my dad and I went to a baby's funeral and I was really confused because I learned about God and heaven, but I didn't know what happened to babies when they passed away. So I asked dad on the drive home and I said, uh, where does the baby go if it dies? Like it doesn't have a choice to follow God or not. And dad said, because it doesn't have a choice, because it's too young, it'll automatically go to heaven. And then that's when he explained about being saved. Um, so I pretty much, that drive home, I looked out the window and just prayed to God about it and um, asked for him to be in my life forever. Um, you know, obviously, it's, it's good that that happened, but as soon as that happened, Satan tried to put all these distractions in my life and tried to lead me his way, away as quick as he could. You know, I, I was still in this cool group and, you know, things were happening where, you know, I thought I was cool <laughs> because I was with them. And after I got saved, I started to see it less cool. So I tried my hardest to get out of this group and sort of, you know, help the ones that are in need. And after a while, I got out, but it took a, a negative effect because these, these kids now were bullying me because, you know, I wasn't in that group. And after a while, you know, I took it. I just, you know, stood up for what I believe in. And eventually I made my own group with um, a bunch of really like good people. And, you know, we were sort of the middle ground. No one bullied us and we didn't bully anyone. Um, and it was really amazing what God did in my life. He, we, um, we all moved schools to Burnside and that's how I found the church because we moved in the area. And, you know, all of the friends in that, or not all, but most of the friends in that group moved to that school as well. So we sort of stayed together for that whole time. Um, I found the church, grade nine, I started grade eight, and I, you know, committed to it. At first it was hard because, you know, I was new to it, but after a while it felt more like a family. So I stayed and yeah, God's done a lot in the times I've been there. So now I'm just, you know, trying to work and um, be myself at work so people can see Christ through me. Um, uh, I'm committing to church even though I live almost three hours away. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make music to sort of spread the word um, about God to the young generations. And yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm trying to give people hope and train them to be better versions of themselves. So thank you everyone for listening. Um, have a good week. God bless.